Welcome everybody to the studio. Today I'm joined by Don Erickson of Caliburn Bat Company. And we're going to be talking about a project we just collaborated on where Don makes wood baseball bats and I paint on wood baseball bats. Thanks for being here, Don. Thanks for having me, Rich. I appreciate it. The studio, this new studio you got is awesome. It looks great. Cool. And uh, yeah, we've been really excited with the last six months and some of the collaborations that we've been working on. So thanks for having me out here. Okay. Don, you and I have known each other for a long time. We coached baseball together for yeah. years. Um, you're quite a bit older than I am. but Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I was actually a, a student when you began your career, but we'll, we'll get into that in another video when we, when we talk about our life story. Uh, but you approached me a few months ago with the idea of taking what you do, and that is making custom wood baseball bats. These are maple bats, correct? Yes. Uh, and you have been, your business is growing, you're doing a lot of cool stuff, but you were looking for a collaboration, something uh, more custom art series, artist series bats. And we kind of talked about the idea of actually painting on a wood baseball bat. So. We began that process. We did a Joker baseball bat uh, because that's kind of more my forte. And then we moved into Spider-Man and we did a Hulk. And recently we talked about maybe moving it back into more of a, a baseball related thing since obviously the product is a baseball bat. So um, we did this newest one that I haven't really seen since it's been finished. So this is me seeing it for the first time as well. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, that project that we moved into. Yeah, the first uh, few collaborations have been unbelievable. And like I specifically like the Hulk band, it's unbelievable, the color involved and the detail and things like that. Really incredible stuff. And, uh, you know, your fans, my fans really enjoyed seeing those pictures and those videos. But like I said, we want to do something different. And, um, you know, us both being from Chicagoland area, I wanted to pick a baseball player that, uh, you know, had some Chicago ties. So. He, he is the uh, the pride of Greenville, South Carolina, but he played for the White Sox. That's Shoeless Joe Jackson. So there's a little bit of the bat right there. So um, a little bit just about the bat itself. Uh, this is a, a BM model, which is a big barreled um, end loaded bat. Uh, it's a, a BM uh, 33 inch bat, and it's got an antique uh, whitewashed finish on the barrel, and the handle is black. And uh, Rich did this incredible painting here, hand painted this Shoeless Joe Jackson uh, bat. And Shoeless Joe actually played for uh, three teams in his career. Um, he played for the Philadelphia A's, played for the Cleveland Naps, and then ended up famously with the Chicago White Sox, part of the Black Sox scandal. Um, interestingly enough, you know, he was kicked out of baseball for you know taking money. Uh, and throw in the 1919 World Series, but he actually hit uh, 375 in the series and uh, had 12 hits in the series, more than any other one player on both the Reds or the, the White Sox. Um, so he was an incredible player. Um, like I said, great Chicago ties. He's a lifetime 356 hitter, which is third all time. Only Ty Cobb and the great Rogers Hornsby have better batting averages. So should he be in the Hall of Fame or not? I would say yes. I mean, Babe Ruth uh, said that he was the greatest hitter he had ever seen, and he actually patterned his swing after Shoeless Joe. Um, so I'd love to see him in the Hall of Fame, but if nothing else, he did make it onto a caliber and bat. I think it's interesting that you uh, you were giving us a little bit of background about Shoeless Joe, but I was curious as to uh, do you know the story of why they call him Shoeless Joe? Yeah, actually, when he was uh, a youngster playing in a like a semi-pro league for his mill where he worked uh, out in South Carolina. He bought a new pair of spikes and they were giving him blisters. So in the middle of the game, he actually took the spikes off, uh, had to bat an inning later, uh, bases were loaded and he hit a bases clearing triple. And as he got to third base, uh, fans from the other side were heckling him, yelling out, shoeless Joe, shoeless Joe, and it ended up sticking. So, yeah, absolutely. Let me check it out. I want to take a look. I haven't actually uh, gotten to the to to hold the bat once it's been finished. So a little bit about the uh, the process that we have been collaborating on. You actually start by making the bat and priming it, getting it to a point where it's ready to be painted on. And then I'm just using acrylic paints to uh, to create the artwork on there. 
And then I give it back to you, which is why I'm holding it now for the first time since I painted it. And you put the finish on there, the top coat, all of the, you know, really perfect the, the process and make it a, a finished product. But I think these look really, really are pretty awesome. And uh, I think anyone would, uh, any collector would love to have this as part of their display. You can hit with these if I'm not mistaken, right? You, if you, if you wanted to. Yeah. I mean, some people will hang those and, the, and it won't uh, touch a ball. But they, they are ready to go. Those are game use bats. What do you think you would like to see with this artist series of bats with Caliburn? Yeah, I'm really excited with this first one. It was awesome. I mean, I want to I want to purchase it myself and keep it at at, uh, at home. But um, no, I, I think uh, moving forward, I uh, I really love to see. We do um, we just started a, a new color line, and one of them is just a real bright. It's called. Uh, Hawkeye uh, gold and it's like a bright yellow. It's almost like a Pittsburgh pirate yellow. So I'd love to see a yellow and, and black bat with uh, the, the famous Roberto Clemente, maybe the number 21 on there somewhere. I know that he's a, a fan favorite of a lot of people. So I'd love to see something like that, you know, as we continue with the, the baseball series. Awesome. How about you? What, what would you like to do? Uh, well, so I'm really, my background is in movies. I'm a big fan of movies and popular culture. So, um, you know, I think maybe just the painting that's behind us over here uh, from the Warriors. Uh, I'd like to see maybe Baseball Fury on a, on a bat yeah. since that kind of, you know, ties in with the whole bat theme. You guys have heard what our plans are moving forward into the future. We would love to hear from you. If you have any ideas that uh, you would like to see on a custom wood baseball bat, you all know where you can find me at Diligent Visual on social media and at diligentvisual.com. So hopefully I hear from you. And uh, Don, where could fans find you? You can go to our website at calibernbats.com and you can find us on all social media platforms at Caliburn Bats. All right. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks for watching. Like, there's like a little button that they put on the laptop or something. And then they say, click it. And then you can never even miss a video. Hmm. That's if you subscribe. <laughs>